and happy Tuesday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon when we let you know what's happening, what's cooking in the tropics. And over the last few days, things have gotten a little interesting, a little active in portions of the Atlantic. Normally an area where you don't see a lot of action this early on in the hurricane season, but the waters out there, the sea surface temperatures are well above normal for this time of the year. So we have systems trying to develop and one of those systems continues to churn out in the Atlantic. This is Tropical Storm Brett. It did develop into a tropical depression yesterday and then it quickly turned into a tropical storm. You can see the showers and storms out there. The center of circulation area of low pressure still not a well defined center of circulation, but we do have the potential for this to continue to maintain its tropical storm status as it pushes off to the west closer to the Lesser Antilles. We do already have a tropical storm watch though out for Barbados. That is the newest information from the National Hurricane Center. The tropical storm is expected to reach the Lesser Antilles likely by Thursday. So we do have some impacts for some folks across portions of the Lesser Antilles expected by Thursday and also into early Friday. So here is the latest track, the current conditions. For Tropical Storm Brett, winds have increased a little bit. We did have 40 mile per hour winds, now up to 45 mile per hour winds. Movement pretty quickly to the west at 18 miles per hour. Pressure still at 1,006 millibars and the location 12.2 degrees north, 48.6 degrees west. This is the 4 p.m. advisory. We continue to see the potential for some strengthening with this tropical storm, but there is one important thing to note as we check out the forecast and the track. The National Hurricane Center saying that Tropical Storm Brett no longer forecast to strengthen into a hurricane. So that is good news. It looks like it will maintain its tropical storm status through Saturday. And then after that, it's actually forecast to kind of fall apart and dissipate as it runs into some stronger wind shear. That means changing of the wind speed and or direction with height, and that will help to kind of tear it apart. So the chances of it making it to Houston or even close to us slim to none. So that is good news for us. But at this point, it is expected to reach the Lesser Antilles by Thursday. So Thursday, 1 p.m., still a tropical storm with winds around 65 miles per hour, and it is rolling right over Barbados. And that is where we have that new tropical storm watch because tropical storm conditions are going to be favorable for that area, especially by Thursday and even into parts of Friday. By Friday, 1 p.m., it's south of Puerto Rico, so it should miss Puerto Rico to the south. And then as we go into Saturday afternoon around 1 p.m., it's southwest of the Dominican Republic, and it will likely begin that weakening phase as we push closer to the end of the weekend. So that is Tropical Storm Brett. I don't think it's going to reach the Houston area, so that's good news for us, but we are monitoring yet another system that continues to show more signs of development out there. There's an 80% chance for this tropical wave out in the central Atlantic to develop through the next seven days. Now, for the short term, it kind of has fallen apart. It looks pretty ragged compared to what it looked like over the last 24 hours, but it is expected to move into a more favorable environment for development over the next several days. So this will likely become our next tropical depression and maybe our next tropical storm. And the name would be Cindy. As if that weren't enough out there, we've got another disturbance that is set to push off of the west coast of Africa. And this one could also become a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next several days. So this is another tropical wave that we will be monitoring closely. It looks you know, pretty potent, pretty strong at this point. So that's something we'll be watching closely. So as I mentioned, the Atlantic, not really the area that we are usually super concerned about for development this time of the year. Normally during the month of June, we see development in the Gulf of Mexico for western portions of the Caribbean and also up into western and southwestern portions of the Atlantic. But we've had lots of action in the central and eastern Atlantic due to the fact that those sea surface temperatures are so warm out there. We are steamy like a steam bath out there in the 80s with those sea surface temps for the Gulf. Same deal in the Caribbean and also very warm waters out in the Atlantic. So get ready for some possible additional action. More systems could develop. We could have Cindy on our hands in a couple of days and we can't rule out that next wave coming off the coast of Africa becoming dawn over the next week. So several systems to monitor. Of course, we will keep watching it. 
Typically this time of the year, not much action. We are still in the first two to three weeks of hurricane season, but we've still got some storms out there to monitor. And unfortunately, it will likely get busier as we head into August, September, and then things should start to kind of calm down and wane down as we go towards October and November. But at this point, we're still only at the beginning of hurricane season. So make sure that you are being prepared. Even though it's pretty quiet for us now, we could quickly have a system to pop up and impact us. So make sure you download our Fox 26 weather app to get the latest tropical weather updates, forecast cones. We've got our follow me feature. And of course, if we do have anything threatening or if you want to find out about other storms that could potentially have tropical storm watches or hurricane watches or warnings, you will find that information there as well. So we've got some things to watch out in the Atlantic and potentially impacting the Caribbean as we go into Thursday and Friday. That would be Tropical Storm Brett. That's the latest that I have for you. Of course, if we do have anything else to develop, you'll be the first to know, but that's what's happening for your Tuesday. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Have a great rest of the day.